Hi, my name is Sharon Davis, and I'm here with my friend Margot Van Horn and Nora Mendoza. And we are really excited to share with you some of uh, Nora's paintings and her philosophy about art. She is a very renowned artist. And Margot, why don't you fill in what all her accomplishments? Well, there's numerous, numerous accomplishments. She won the Governor's Art Award. She was one of eight artists that helped restore Detroit Music Hall. She's got um, her work in a lot of private collections, including Dennis Archer, Aretha Franklin, uh, the president, former president, um, Jack Smith of GM. There she's in corporate offices at Ford, Edison, GM, Blue Cross Blue Shield. She's also done a lot of, lot of traveling, um, given workshops. She traveled with Cesar Chavez, has been introduced to um, Fidel Castro. She's exhibited all over the United States, um, given workshops. She's been in Europe several times, Egypt. And she was Art Michigan's Artist of the Year. Well, that's the Governor Award, yeah. Oh, okay. The Governor's Artist Award. Mm -hmm. yep. So. And she was one of eight artists to help restore the music center? The music hall home. Yeah. She said that already. Yep. So. Were you going to say that next? I'm sorry. No, I did say that. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't hear it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> i got to turn on my hearing aid. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, um, so tell us a little bit about what I missed that I didn't mention. And the one you want to miss mention anything else, like your present, where you're going to be? Um, oh, okay. Uh, I'm currently showing at the um, Wayne County Community College uh, down, down River in Taylor. And I have a solo exhibit. I have uh, 18 very, very large paintings in the show. It's their new um, uh, Brown and Juanita Ford gal Gallery, Fine Art Gallery. In, in, uh, it's on North Line between 75 and Telegraph. And so I uh, invite everybody to see it. And Friday I will open at um, the Commerce Point Gallery in Battle Creek. And um, I have probably about 28 pieces in that show. And the show is mostly geared towards Hispanic um, Heritage Month, so that most of my work there in that show is um, not all of it, but some of it or most of it is uh, the theme of Hispanic art. And I'm also including an old series that I, in this show, I'm also including an old series that I did for Michigan Opera many, many years ago on the, um, in conjunction with the Opera Faust. And so I tell the story of, um, of um, Faust because in Spanish, the, the Spanish translation is, um, is Don Juan, Don Juan Tenorio, the story of Don Juan Tenorio. And that's Kothi, Kothi is how you pronounce it. Uh, his, his writings, his story. And then- This is uh, my favorite here, you have to hold it up. Yeah, then, that, then I have these books that, um, this uh, I did for a solo exhibit I had in May at the Lawrence Street Gallery, in which I'm a, I'm a, I'm a member. And I tell, um, in the book I tell the story of my life through my paintings. So each, one, each painting has a caption that depicts my story. It started off, I was going to, I got the idea and I was going to do two of them, uh, one for my daughter, one for my son, so that they would know a little bit of their ancestry. Um, but when she saw what I had written, she decided that she would help me make it into a book. And not just two, one for her and her brother, but for to sell for the public. So. Anyway, there's a lot of pictures in it, painting, pictures of paintings <laughs> in it, and all of them are, um, are about something about my, my life. The other one is um, it's just hot off the press called Detroit, and it was written by um, Suzanne Billick. And in this one, she includes first Frida Kahlo and then me. 
No, the, no, I think then she, Burnett, and uh, Burnett, and me, and me, and then uh, uh, Snowden, and Dinah Alva, and several, oh, and um, um, I don't remember how to pronounce her name, but I don't have my glasses. Anyway, it's a really good book. I highly recommend it. And and then uh, I'm in the uh, artist artistic touch um, that just came out also uh, that uh, uh, Chris Unwin puts puts together every every two three years. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about um, you know how you paint. Yeah. Do you do you paint every day, Nora? You're so prolific. I I paint. I try to paint every day, but I don't always. I sometimes don't have a lot of work to do, and um, but I, I spend almost twelve hours a day, either painting, or working at something that is art related. Because to be an artist is not just painting. Mm -hmm. I wish I wish it were, <laughs> but it's the business of art. Is uh, the, you know, preparing exhibits, preparing. Um, the inventory is taking the work, picking up the work, and just um, a lot of a lot of other work that is related to. So I work at that every day. A lot of maintenance, like delivering paintings to shows, uh, yeah, picking the paintings up, yeah, and seeing clients, and yeah. you know, trying to. It's um, it's. I don't think peop people look at it as. Um, I think people look at it as a fun kind of life, and it is. I mean, it's a great life. I wouldn't trade it for the world. But it's hard work, mm -hmm. and it's long hours. And after I've been, you know, in my studio painting for, um, I go in and I go in not even to paint in good clothes, and I come back <laughs> ten hours later <laughs> with paint all over me and and ruin my clothes and. Uh, and then I and then I realized what time it is, uh, because I, I I'm not even aware of time. Exactly. And, and yeah. then um, and then by that time, my, that's when I feel like I, I don't feel physically tired while I'm working, but the minute I stop, I, I just collapse. Mm-hmm. I, I can't do anything else. My my body refuses to move after that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you know, not all the days are like that, but some days are like that. Yeah. Yeah. Intense. So, you know, you've been painting for a long, long time. About at what time did you consider yourself a professional artist or knew that, you know, you wanted to do this? Yeah. Well, you know, I never really called myself an artist. I, I it wasn't until other people called me an artist that I that finally believed you? it. That I, okay. Maybe that's what I was. And um, professional, um, it wasn't after the the sale of the first painting, but um, but after I had sold many paintings, that I that I considered it being a profession, and and of course I started paying income tax from the very beginning because from the time I earned the first dollar, I was so proud, you know, I was so proud of that first dollar that I had sold a painting and I had money that um, that I filed for. For income tax, <laughs> and I've been paying ever since. <laughs> Not a common thing for artists, I don't think. <laughs> I'm David Custer, and I'm really excited about our new show, Let's Take a Walk. We are going to hit the streets in your community, and we're going to check in with local businesses and show you what's cool and unique and why you should stop into their stores. We're going to meet great business owners, we're going to eat great food, we're going to do great things. So tune in to our show, Let's Take a Walk, because I promise it'll be a good time. Returning to the crash site is tough. Made a traffic stop on uh, Gratiot. As I was about to go and get my dog out of my car, a drunk driver struck the back of my canine SUV, the mirror and spotlight on my driver's side pillar uh, struck me square in the face. What I do remember is what everybody, I remember what everybody did for me. Living Legends helps cops and their families in need. Please donate today. Nora, do you teach or give workshops anymore? 
You know, in the beginning, uh, not in the beginning, but somewhere in the middle of my career, um, I was invited to do a lot of workshops. There was a time when I did almost five days a week um, mm. for the schools in uh, dancing. Yeah. And um, I matched the curriculum through art. And that was a lot of, a lot of fun, but very difficult, hard work, having to get up, especially from, the, from West Bloom, where mm -hmm. I live, all the way to Lansing. It was, um, it was hard work, but, but I, I really enjoyed it and I really loved it. Um, the other times um, I, I used to do with uh, Omni Arts. I used to do a lot of workshops with mm -hmm. them. And um, just whenever I'm invited to ask to do a talk or to do a presentation and a demonstration, uh, only by invitation. But as you grow older, people forget about you. They forget. They think probably you died or something <laughs> <laughs> and don't know it or something. Or maybe you're dead and don't know it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be the worst scenario. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so it slows down, but it's okay because then it's filled up with, the, with other things. Um, I, was, I go through periods when it's really slow in that, and, um, and that was one of the reasons I think I joined Lawrence Street Gallery because mm -hmm. um, I thought this way I'm, I'm out there all the time, all the time. And, um, and then uh, as soon as I joined, it started to pick up uh, again out on the outside, so I have a lot of work, and then after my May show, I've been just bombarded with work. I have, a, you know, the two shows. I just got invited to do one at the um, Michigan State University uh, law, law, the law department. Uh, also a solo for three months. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Does this so yeah, I'm open to doing whatever people want. Okay. Yeah. If they can't afford it, I do it for a minimal fee. Mm -hmm. um, and and. I mean, not that it's that expensive, but I mean, you know, at least a stipend or something. Because sometimes, unfortunately, people think that we're doing this because it's just fun or something. But for me, I don't know about others, but it's my livelihood. It's how I earn my living. Um, without that, I would have to depend on my, my children, I suppose, mm -hmm. or, or try and find work if I could at my age, which I don't think would be possible. And plus, I don't know, you know, I'd rather lower my standard of living <laughs> than, than have a straight job. Oh, right, absolutely. Just, just because that's the way I'm made. Mm -hmm. You know, not that there's anything wrong with it. Uh, and probably a lot of benefits, security, mm -hmm. all kinds of money, money, a lot of things. But for me, I know myself, I know who I am, I know what I am, I know what makes me happy. and. And I only have one life. This is the way I chose to live it. Yeah. And this is how I want to, how I want to die. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, you're so prolific. Thank you. You, you produce so much work. Just the number of paintings you have out there right now yeah. in, in a number of shows, yeah. And what we have here, yeah. And I have lots of mysterious still. Yeah. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's not like you can stop because they're not selling or anything. Because um, you're driven, you're, you're, it's like an addiction. You're driven. I even notice that I don't sleep so well if I'm not painting regularly. Or, or that, um, you know, I, I'm just not a whole person without being allowed to, like a blood transfusion. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's express food. your creativity. Yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah and, like food for it's you. It's as important to me as eating or sleeping, mm -hmm. breathing. Right. So when, when you're in your studio and when you paint, do you listen to music or do you do TV or it's I, just I, you? Yeah, it's just me. I, I, I don't have a TV in my studio and, and I, I occasionally will play a, a CD or something, but I don't hear it. When I, when I start to paint, it's just me and the canvas, the materials. You go into the zone. Exactly. exactly. You know, because you're not as both yeah. of you know. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, it's a whole other world there, and and you're away from everything, you know, all the stress, all the mm -hmm. everything. It's just wonderful. It's a wonderful little space to be in for a few hours a day, mm -hmm. um, for however long you paint. Yeah. And without that, it's like taking medicine. I don't take any medicines because. My painting is enough. Mm hmm Well, That's you beautiful. are blessed. Thank you. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, 
when you when you when you start a painting do you have a vision exactly how it's going to look or does it change over time it almost always changes and sometimes i don't have a vision i just start with a blank canvas and let's see what happens okay. and let's see where it wants to take me and what it wants to be and i just develop it and i look at the floor because i paint on the floor <laughs> and uh, and uh, but sometimes you know I'm, I'm working for a piece that's going to be uh, uh, at a a certain, a certain theme that's asked for for a certain show right now. I have a piece in the Northville Art House, and it's called Vote for Me. And it's kind of a political show. And um, I painted. I knew what I wanted to paint because at one time I was watching TV, and and um, so it does affect me. <laughs> Television. Okay. I saw a program where one a day, uh, one soldier, American soldier, commits suicide. And I was so disturbed with that that I couldn't, I couldn't just forget about it because yeah. there were other news the next day. Anything like anything that hits me like that just stays with me until I do something with it. So luckily that I was asked to do this painting for this show, and so I had a painting that I had started back before, and I put a few things on it, and just wasn't going anywhere. So I, so I took it in and started with that and then made all the changes I wanted so that I could express and relay the message that I wanted to relay that war is bad, war is mm. wrong, war, uh, I don't know. I don't have the answers, but I, but I, it's hard for me to accept that we have to have wars right. in order to live. I know every artist I know has done a 9-11 piece. I did too. We, had, we all had to do it. Yep. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, it just filled us up with so much emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it did. Mm -hmm. And that was the only way I could get it out exactly. of my system. Exactly. Me too. Me too. And I still show it every September 11th. Oh, oh do okay. you? <laughs> all right. Wonderful. I've been going to donate mine to a fire, uh, fire station. A it's fire station purchased yeah. a print of it <laughs> for, from me, yeah. Do you work on more than one painting at a time? Um, almost, almost always. Um, it's difficult to, to. I, ca I can. I can sit down and start.